Okay, in this video I'll be talking about how to find intervals of increasing and decreasing functions. A couple of things to note before we begin. Whenever they say that we're finding intervals, really what that should mean to you is that we are finding x-coordinates. We are only going to look at the x-coordinates of the graphs that we are about to look at. We are not worried about the y-coordinates right now. The other things we're talking about is increasing and decreasing functions and we're going to see in just a second that that really refers to the slope. In fact this is going to be areas that we have a positive slope. That would be x coordinates that have a positive slope and then if a graph is changing and going downward sometime maybe where they have a negative slope. So that's really the big idea. We need to find the x coordinates that a graph might be going up and the x coordinates that a graph might be going down. Here's a pretty typical example. In this class for college algebra, we are just going to do it reading graphs. Okay? Um, so say, for instance, that you take a look at this. I have a function here, and it looks like the function is going up for a while, then it goes down for a while, then it looks like it flattens out and stays flat, and then it increases. Notice also that there are dots at the end. I know it might be a little bit small, a little bit hard to see, but there are dots at the end which tells us that the graph really ends right there. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at these x-coordinates, and I don't know how easy it is for you to see right now. I hope this isn't too small. But I can see right here that this is at an x-coordinate of negative 5. That's the x-coordinate right there at that dot. This spot right here is at an x-coordinate of negative 2. This location right here in the middle where it stops going down it flattens out, well that's at an x-coordinate of positive 2. This x-coordinate here is at positive 4. And up here at the very end, this is an x-coordinate of 5. And so we really have some important locations here. Notice what I've basically done is I've pointed out all the spots where I've gone from an upward graph to a downward graph. And from a downward graph to a horizontal graph and from the horizontal piece to the upward piece. And so what I can see here is that I have really one, two, three, four different sections. Out of those four sections, it looks like this has a positive slope. So from here to here, I am increasing. So the way that I'm going to write that then is an interval notation. I'm going to say something like this. From negative 5 to negative 2, my function is increasing. It has a positive slope. Now, the thing that's going to be confusing is that looks like xy coordinates to us, right? That looks like a point on an xy coordinate scale, and that looks like it's negative 5, so 5 left and 2 down. And really, that's not what it means. It means from the x coordinates of negative 5 to negative 2, the function is going up. And then I come over here and I see, well, from negative 2 to positive 2, the function is going down. It has a negative slope, so it's decreasing. And I say, okay, for this section from 2 to 4, it looks like the graph was horizontal. It's not changing at all. It's not going up. It's not going down. So I say from 2 to 4, the function is constant. And then one last section here, the last section is from the x coordinates of 4 to 5. So I'm going to write and from 4 to 5. Once again, the confusion here for most students is the fact that this isn't really, these are not xy coordinates. Those are really x intervals, right? Those are x coordinates to x coordinates. Another way that we could write this then might be something like this. I don't know how you're going to see it in your book. So I just want to point it out. I could say something like this between the x coordinates of oh, negative 5 to negative 2 and from the x coordinates between 4 and 5. That's the same way. That's just a different way of stating the same information. I could say down here that I went from the x coordinates of negative 2 to positive 2. And I could say down here this is from the x coordinates between 2 and 4. You know, I state it as an inequality instead of an interval notation. It's just good to know how to read both of those. Let's take a look at one more graph here. Now notice there are no dots on the end. If there are no dots on the end or if you see arrowheads on the end, we're going to assume that those graphs go on forever. And so it looks like they've already pointed out some points to us, but we're only interested in these x coordinates. That would be negative 1, positive 3, positive 5. And so what I know is this. If I'm coming in from the left side, I'm way up here, I'm way up here, way up here, and I'm coming down, 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 and it looks like I'm still going down, I'm decreasing forever until I get to the point of negative 1, negative 2. 
which really is the x coordinate of negative 1. That's all we really care about. See, we can know that if, if I went out indefinitely, that the thing would keep rising. But as I come in, that means that I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling until I hit the negative 1 point. Those are all decreasing points then. That's a decreasing slope, a negative slope coming in until I get to 1, negative 1. So I'm going to write that as the section of the graph that goes from negative infinity to negative 1. And then I have this section in the middle that goes from negative 1 to the x corner to 3 where the thing doesn't go up and it doesn't go down. So therefore it's constant. Now I see that it looks like a parabola off here in the end, but from 3 to 5 it goes up in the parabola and from 5 onward it goes down. So I'm going to say from 3 to 5 it's increasing and then from 5 onward it's decreasing. It's going downward. So I'm going to put an extra section off here in the decreasing area and I'm going to say and not only is it going down from negative infinity to negative 1 out here indefinitely into the negative 1 point but when I hit 5 I'm going down for the rest of the time that that graph is going on. Now hopefully that makes sense. That's how to read and find intervals of increasing and decreasing functions from a graph.